Hi, I'm Joseph with ChargeCoin, and today we're going to be talking about the hardware that's required to make a basic charge station all the way up to a more advanced charge station. Uh, first, we'll start with the basic. Number one thing, you can actually build a charge station right now for free, and all you need is a printer. If you're able to print off and affix a QR code to a sign, you're in business. You can set up a parking spot anywhere in the world that is non-electric vehicle compatible just for basic parking and it's fully compatible with the charge platform. The next one up we don't provide a kit for but it is an option. The reason we don't provide a kit for it is because it's too low of an amperage to realistically charge electric vehicles quickly but if you're in an area where you're the only one around and they need to charge up maybe that's an option so it is an option for you we just don't recommend it. Um, we recommend higher amperage. Okay. So, a couple of things that make this all possible from a hardware point of view. Number one is a relay. Um, in previous videos, I had talked about a, a certain kind of relay that works okay, but I found out that you have to have two relays in tandem, and that was made for a messy wiring diagram. And we're trying to make this simple so anyone can use it. So, instead, we've selected what's called a two pole relay, um, which we'll make available on the website. And this two pole relay is controlled via a five volt connection. And it is the nice thing about it is we've now found a way to make these kits compatible with every market out there, um, from the United States, which runs on on 120 slash 240 volt electricity, or um, on up to European uh, countries, which use that higher voltage. Um, it's all compatible with ChargePoint, and that's because of this relay, the two-phase relay that we've selected, and it's also very affordable. Now that relay, as I mentioned, is controlled by five volts. Um, five volt connection is an Arduino type of setup. So we've selected, we've still selected the Onion Omega 2 Plus, $9 if you buy it directly from them or $18 if you buy it from us, preloaded with the ChargeCoin charge station software. And then it needs a, some kind of an IO panel such as this one to connect it um, via five volt to the relay. And that really is all there is to it. Oh, I should mention, there's a, there's a, you need a breaker that is um, the amperage of the setup that you're trying to create, and you need a receptacle. So I guess there is a couple more, are a couple more things, um, but you have options. The, the biggest thing about these kits, you guys, we're trying to give you lots of options. Um, if you go with one of the, one of the lesser options in the 240 volts in the U.S. or, or in other markets, higher voltage equivalent. Um, this 1450 receptacle, which is compatible with nearly all electric vehicles, is a great option. And the reason being, it's only $33, it's outdoor, it's rugged, and it works great. If you want something a little more fancy with a little more hardware and some GFI protection, we have this one, a NEMA 1450, again, receptacle, 120 volt with GFI, and then three breakers built in. Both of these two boxes I found on Home Depot is probably an equivalent in other countries, but you can get them also from our website, and they are perfect, you guys, for setting up a basic charge station. If you want something more advanced, let's talk about that. If you want to be able to charge 75 amps, which is quite a lot, you guys, quickly charge an electric vehicle, I recommend this one. Wattzilla's provided it to us. Um, their price tag on this, for an outdoor box is $1,128 out the door. Um, that, in addition to our own kits, which are between $100 to $150, depending upon how you look at it, you can get yourself a really high quality charge station quickly, okay? Um, reason we selected Wattzilla, in addition to the price, that amperage, 75 amps, gets it done quick. Um, and they also have informed me that they tested the heck out of this thing. They fired bullets at it, uh, left it outside in rainstorms, all that good stuff. The thing is just built to last. It's actually also um, got some cool um, protection in it for, uh, what is it called, an EMP or something like that. Um, so this thing will be around for longer than all of us. So that's why we selected it. Um, this one in particular has the J1772 standard, it's, which is pretty cool. Uh, reason being is it's universal. It's, it's pretty much anywhere you go, you might see it. Um, but there are other boxes in other, for other markets who handle other protocols besides the J1772. The point being, any kit you select, it's all compatible because of the relay node setup that we've selected. Um, so we've, we've managed to make it so that you can have a charge station literally anywhere in the world.
So very excited about that. Um, that pretty much concludes uh, the discussion regarding the hardware. We're going to make another video after we've set it all up here shortly, so stay tuned. We'll see you soon.